Lessons in not crossing a gay man. Y'all, this is a story of sweet, sweet revenge, bitch. So we've had an ice storm here in Austin and the power went out on Wednesday and we decided because it was cold to get a hotel for us and the dogs. And apparently a lot of people had that idea because the first place that we tried to go to was very busy. And there was one girl behind the desk taking phone calls, trying to get these reservations and check-ins and like answering questions. It was a mess, but not her fault. And there was this one man, I didn't hear what the situation was, but I did hear him call her a bitch. Um, and she started crying and he asked to see the manager. And then the manager comes out and he doesn't ask the girl her side of the story what happened. He only listens to this man and then turns to the girl and says, are you really so dumb that you can't even just take a simple fee off? I said, ew, uh, uh, pretty sure we can solve the problem without calling the girl dumb. Like she was literally crying. And he said, oh, well, I'm, my apologies, but she presents herself as an airhead. And as you can see, we're busy and we don't have time for this. I said, oh, well, look at the way you fucking present yourself. You look like you're playing dress up in your daddy's suit and you smell like Cheetos and Red Bull. Tell me you have a tanked credit score and you're still registered for Hustlers University, bitch. I invest my hustle. He said, sir, I am the manager here and I'm asking you to leave. I said, <laughs> Well, you look like you couldn't even manage your way through your GED program, yet you still go to high school parties, so... So we ended up going to another hotel, but not before I got both of their names and I called corporate, bitch. I just got off the phone, and Dylan got transferred to another hotel, but is no longer a manager.